ban is the IRS opens an audit up where you can't travel outside the U.S. They now want to expand it to just flying, period. These are internal checkpoints. The book is Scorched Earth, Restoring the Country After Obama. Dr. Savage is our guest 20 days, ladies and gentlemen, to the election. Doctor, you got cut off by that hard break I had to take, recapping for folks that just joined us and thousands of seconds are tuning in. Uh, clearly, they came out and said, we're federalizing elections. Oh, my God, the Russians and Trump want to steal it. Then Trump goes, I think you'll try to rig it. Democrats are famous for that. They've now been caught in New York already doing it in early voting. They respond going, you're insane. Election fraud doesn't exist. That's an exact quote of, of Obama. So I'm, I'm living in this crazy world where they're federalizing the elections first time ever, taking them over because of an unprecedented threat. When Trump says, you might try to steal it, they go, you're insane, it doesn't exist. <laughs> so, so Dr. Savage, you talked to him yesterday on air. What do you think is happening? I said to Donald, here's what they're doing. They're setting it up as follows. For three, four months, they've been saying the Russians are hacking our elections for safe, to protect our elections, which are sacred. We want to turn it over to DHS, the genius who's given us one terrorist attack after another and has done nothing to stop it. He still has his job, right? So he wants to now make sure our elections are safe. Russians are hacking. Follow the bouncing ball. No proof. If, if Trump wins, which is highly likely, by the way, which we can talk about in a, in a minute or two or another time, Trump wins, government declares, oh, we have evidence that the Russians hacked it, he's a friend of Putin, the election is null and void, we're going to recall another election in, what, six months, until then Mr. Obama has graciously agreed to continue his public service in the United States of America. Thank you very much, we're not taking any questions, goodbye. And we have Biden announcing they're going to launch a giant cyber attack on the Russians and saying if the Russians respond, they may respond militarily, which is a doctrine Hillary came out with two months ago, and suddenly NATO announced that's their new doctrine. She's literally calling the show. All I wanted to say was, I said it to Donald and he didn't take the bait. I'm glad he didn't. I said, don't even answer me, because they'll crucify you if you agree with me. They're going to steal the election. Just as, you know, I'll make it simple. In the fifth grade, I ran for class president in Queens, New York. I was a funny kid. I was a wild kid. I was out of control. I won the election by a landslide. The teacher <laughs> stood up and said, this election doesn't count. I don't want Michael to be president. <laughs> she had another election, and I wasn't class president. So, hey, look, if it could be done in the fifth grade in the Bronx when I was a kid, why can't they do it to us now, right? We're just children. I had a similar thing happen. It, you know, when you really do things in this world, you start to learn how rigged they are. And it's just crazy to see them go, he's over the same newscast. The Russians are rigging the election. We're having to bring in the U.N. to oversee it. And then meanwhile, Trump's crazy. He says they're rigging the election, even as we catch okay. election officials admitting the fraud. We do have a minute or two more. If you've got it, uh, elaborate on what you're saying. I, I mean, I agree. The internal polls, I know from Trump, but also other big groups are doing internal polls. 5, 10, 15 points ahead in most battleground states. He's going to win in a landslide. They're only creating the perception he's way behind, so we buy it right now. Do you concur with that, A? B, what happens when he gets in? 100% right. You and I think the same way. I said to Donald yesterday on my radio show, I said, uh, Donald, I said, what they're doing is they're not trying to get Hillary, people, people vote for Hillary. They've got all the people they could ever, ever get. I said, what they're trying to do is discourage Trump voters from voting by thinking that it's, it's over already. They're trying to make them think that he lost, that she won, so they're going to throw their hands up and not vote for him. I said, this whole election hinges upon one thing right now, the voter turnout. The black people are not turning out for Hillary. They don't like her. The Hispanic people are really not that excited about Hillary. She has no crowd. And it's the Hispanic men have always liked Trump, as I said six months ago, for a number of reasons. One, most of them come here to work very hard to become an American. They have the wives and the children. They want a house with a picket fence. They look at Donald Trump as a man they'd like to be like, not a man they hate. They look at her and they say, ugh, whatever. So it's all voter turnout. He's got to make sure that people think he can still win, which he can. And then if all of us who are supporting him come out, I think he will win. It's that simple. That's right. You can't steal landslides. I've interviewed experts who are Democrats, Republicans, diebold engineers from the highest levels. They agree. You, you cannot steal a landslide because it is cobbled together how the systems work. And, and the battleground states are key. We'll be obviously listening to Savage Nation with Michael Savage. Uh, that comes on in just a few hours, and uh, we'll obviously be following. Uh, we have full election coverage tomorrow night live with the debates at InfoWars.com forward slash show. Uh, Michael Savage.
Sports.com, New Books Scorched Earth, 